guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the final episode of season two of Two Year Eternity. So, of course, if you already know, yes, the show was confirmed for season three. Yay! <laughs> but of course, I do want to see how this is going to end overall. What is next in store for Fushi and everyone else? Um. Are we going to, is it going to be like season one where we got to see like a different version of him, older, ask? And what do we go, like, I mean, we could kind of go in modern times. Because time wise, I'm guessing we're, we're getting somewhat close to that, correct, right? I don't freaking know. But other than that, let's go to get started with the final episode in three, two, one, go. Am I gonna cry? <laughs> I get to hear this man's voice all over again in season three. I'm so happy. <laughs> Like, yes, I'm so freaking happy they won. But so, I just, I want more. I mean, we're, we're going to go really in the deep. And this is why I wanted to watch this first. Because this is my initial final thoughts of season two. The good, the bad, and everything in between. Because the funny thing was, when I saw that this got a season three while I was at work, the big top comments in the Twitter section was, why didn't anybody say this out of season two? And, and I think it's mainly because a lot of things were airing at the time. Um, so other things like outshined it, we all knew that. It was either, if you already signed up for season one, you were already gonna be signed up for season two. And then season three, regardless, because last week, I don't think any of us knew or had a possibility that I was going to get a season three. But now it is, and I'm so happy. The biggest thing is Kohaku. Like, <laughs> what are they gonna do? Are they gonna kill him? I mean, cause Fuji doesn't wanna kill, yeah. Well, still, but she won't marry you. Damn. 
He's right. go at least you still have them and fuji and bon much <laughs> You're going to find him now. Guys can live as a family. Thank you. <laughs> Can you just imagine if they could be able to settle somewhere else and to just, you know, make homes? I don't know, babe. But what if being free is being with you?
You want it where they're not there anymore. She'll always wait. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Only you three can see him.
surfing. Eventually left. Okay. That doesn't give me an answer, though. Kahaku. Damn, that thing fucked him up like real bad. Jesus. <laughs> so Kohaku He did his his damn hardest. Oh. That's why he did it. Good. Up until the end. Even though sometimes I was a little, mm, don't know how to feel about you. But he still did good.
doing like the made in heaven of right there, like Jesus. to come, yeah. That makes so much sense now. Oh my God. Oh. And it's gonna show everybody one more time. In the tree. The tree was him. Oh. The freaking ending that we've seen since episode one of this season has like predicted the ending of this season. That is nuts. Okay, now where are we in time? Okay. Oh. All right. All that hard work that he did, that they all did, was just worth it. They're now about to all live in peace, kind of esque in the modern day world. It, okay, it, it's gonna be very interesting to see all these characters have to deal with all the modernized things. Like, oh, ooh, that's gonna be very interesting. Okay, so final thoughts initially on this. This season overall, this was, I would say, I'm, I'm a little still in between with it, especially. Um, I remember having a conversation with someone like a while back ago. I think we were, we were just at the start when we were getting into um, 
we were at the the city, the kingdom that Masara and Hiro and what's his face are all from and stayed at. At that point, I think majority of some people who I've talked to, a lot of people kind of dropped the show. Yes, it was slow at times. There, there was times where I was like, this is really slow. But I kept thinking, I was like, there has to be a payoff for this. And the, these last, like, what, three or four episodes were the payoff and such. Because we get a happy ending where everybody, even though they got to live out their lives and they all slowly died one by one, whether it was to illness or someone getting murdered or just old age and stuff, they all still wanted to stay with Fuji regardless. Everybody wanted to still be with him. I What I initially thought was going to happen was they were going to stay with him. Echo was still there, Bond was still there, and eventually he reincarnated Bond, and Bond was able to have a family and be with them even in his final day. So everybody got to be happy and such, but still the biggest thing that they all wanted was to go back to Fuji. And then Kohaku, making the ultimate sacrifice like that as a character where initially seeing first the his great 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 grandmother or eventually his mom it's one of the two seeing her first didn't know how well no i i liked her but then i was like mm, i don't trust her because of course you know you're thinking of the woman from season one and she wasn't that bad and then i was thinking okay no matter how many times we're going into this we're always going to see a girl we're never really going to see a guy because regardless it's always been a girl so i was very surprised that the six was a boy and i was like okay this is going to change a lot of things and you feel bad for kohaku because everyone told him that he was going to be a failure that he wasn't going to be able to um be acknowledged by fuji be able to you know be there in the end with him i was really thinking he was not going to die I, that's why I was surprised. I was like, oh, okay, he, he's dying. Like, I was expecting him to eventually die, but not like that. But because he loves Fuji so much and he was going to do everything in his power to get rid of the church, aka cult, and the knockers and everything else, even though it was still sacrificing himself. And of course, I'm guessing someone in the modern day still possibly has a knocker attached to them. So we are going to see possibly another version of Kohaku or we're going to see a female version like we used to. But um, yeah, this season was pretty much slow. There was a time, um, maybe about four or five weeks ago, maybe even 10, where uh, I thought of dropping the show. And I was, cause I was like, this is good but it's slow like when bond came in that's when to me in my opinion that's when it was going really really slow the pace was getting off for me but then i was just i said keep going i was like there's got to be a payoff towards this and to meet new characters and to get attached to them and then this battle and wondering when the battle was going to end how the conclusion was going to be the winning the payoff from that seeing everybody having happy lives even though they were all like both Gugu and March was like I'm staying here with Fuji until the end of my days and everything else for everyone else but this was really good do I think it was as good as season one in a way yeah there were good things about the season and there were bad things about the season the big thing is I, I will say the slow pacing I get it now as of now officially finishing this season but I think when I when we were like around episode 10, 11, and 12, I was like, why are we getting so much like slow pacing and such? There there were times where I kept feeling like an episode was like an anime only base, but it feels like everything that initially happened from episode one all the way to this episode was officially canon. And now, like I said, once again, that payoff. But it was really good. I will still recommend this to some people. And like I said, as someone who officially now has finished this today and got to see the ending, I am happy. I am also happy that this is getting a season three. I am excited for it, of course. Of course, I will watch it because I know myself. I enjoyed this series so much. And I'm glad that 
I got to see some of my favorite characters back. I'm glad that, you know, Kohaku did what he did, but it was a noble sacrifice. And in the end, Fuji was able to get everyone back. And they're all going to be together. I don't know if he's going to summon them all. But it's going to be very interesting to see how this... And it makes me wonder when it's going to come out. So I can see maybe like a year from now. I don't expect by fall of this year. So I would literally say maybe fall next year. Maybe spring or summer of next year. Maybe even winter and such. Because I don't know how long this next arc is. Our modern era arc. Um, it could be twice as long as this. And of course I feel like they're going to have it at... 20 to 24 episodes but this was good still enjoyed it with the little issues that i had but it was a damn good ride i i really will miss these characters once again but i am excited to see what they're going to get into in season three and all the new characters who will pop up and everything else this was just really good other than that guys that is my action view towards the entirety of season two of to your eternity if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel and uh -oh. <laughs> i make videos every single day join master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all whenever season three arrives anything else that'll be coming out in the next couple of weeks and then officially you know later on in the month or really next month for the start of spring anime but until then I will see you guys all next time. Bye.